You know, Easter's coming up, at least according to all the holiday-themed snack foods I'm starting to see at the grocery store. And where there is Easter, there are bunnies. Comes with the territory. Speaking of bunnies, that's how I'm going to awkwardly segue into today's topic. <gasps> rabbit hunting. Well, okay, not real rabbit hunting. More like rabbit... catching. That was a favorite pastime for me, my sister, and our second cousins whenever we'd go over to their grandma's house growing up. And that's what I'm going to talk about today, running around my great aunt's backyard trying to catch bunnies. Why did we want to catch them? Well, the answer is quite simple. We had nothing better to do. So let me just say, you have to either be really fast or really crafty to catch rabbits. And me and my sister and my cousins, I'll just call them James and his sister Jamie were neither of those things when we were little, but that didn't stop us from trying anyway. Never give up, kids! I remember sometimes if we didn't see any rabbits, we'd all just hide out in the giant shrub trees that were in the yard with binoculars just to scope out all the rabbits we were pff, totally gonna catch, guys. No big deal. We were more or less in those trees like, Crikey, James, check out that big rabbit over there! I know, mate! These wild creatures are crazy fast! Crikey! We gotta make sure to run as fast as a cheetah to catch them, mate! Sorry to all my Australian viewers. That was, that was pretty bad. I'm not sorry. Anyway, despite our best efforts, we were never able to chase down and catch any of the rabbits we saw. But that didn't stop us from putting our heads together and thinking of another solution. Teamwork makes the dream work. We discovered that James and Jamie's grandma had a couple of milk crates in her garage, the perfect size to keep a rabbit in. And she also had carrots, the perfect bait for rabbits. So... All we gotta do is prop up the milk cart with a stick and tie the stick to a long string. Then when the rabbit comes and eats the bait, we'll pull the stick away and trap it in the milk crate. It's foolproof. Hmm. Yep, this checks out. We really all thought that would work, but alas, I never saw the plan reap any benefits. I.e., we never managed to catch a rabbit with it. James told me once that he and Jamie actually caught one when my sister and I weren't there, but once they lifted up the milk crate, the rabbit bolted off and they never saw it again. Whether that's true or not, it's still kind of sad that we spent so many hours trying to catch bunnies and yet never managed it once. It was that very failure that scarred all four of us from ever achieving any success for the rest of our lives. Nah, I'm joking. My sister's in grad school, Jamie's working on a nursing degree, and James got a crazy high ACT score and is studying to be a teacher. And I make YouTube videos. See, we all found success in life. <laughs> Follow your dreams, kids. So, for the end card, I always add in, like, a little song just for kicks. Um, can you sing? Oh, uh, well... Oh, come on, just do, like, a five-second song about a rabbit, just on the fly. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, little rabbit, I see you have a carrot. Do you mind if you share it? Good enough. <laughs>